Researchers at ASU are watching what is unfolding in Ukraine with great interest. ASU is home to the Center on the Future of War, where they study the ways war and conflict are changing. Morgan Lowe spoke to the director of the center, and Morgan, this is a different type of war than we've seen in the world in decades. Jamie, it is. This is an interstate war of aggression. It's not a civil war like Syria or an insurgency like we saw in Iraq and Afghanistan. And we really haven't seen a conflict like this since Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait in August of 1990. The images coming out of Ukraine so far are sporadic and disjointed. Glimpses of panic, glimpses of war, but we have not yet seen the full picture of what's taking place. War is a terrible thing. And the aggressive war of Russia and Ukraine is a tragedy, and we're witnessing this tragedy. Daniel Rothenberg is the co-director of ASU's Center on the Future of War. He studies wars, their causes and consequences. War often creates a variety of escalations and all kinds of harms that are not able to be understood at the start of a war. Rothenberg says there are so many unknowns in Ukraine. Will the war spill over the borders? Will it create instability in Europe or elsewhere? But he does know in modern history, this type of war is rare. One country invading another unprovoked. We don't know where this is going, but what we're watching is what's known as a, a war of aggression. Aggression is one of the most significant crimes in international law, and it's a significant crime because it does such serious violence to the international order. Rothenberg says it's that international order that has allowed the world economy to thrive, and this destabilization will affect the entire globe in one way or another. It genuinely presents a risky and dangerous situation for our world. And that means that it has real impacts for people in Arizona and people all over our country, even if the specifics of those impacts are not obvious today, tomorrow, or next week. Daniel Rothenberg says it's not a sure thing that Russia's action in Ukraine is going to go smoothly. Ukraine is a large country with a sizable military, and there is every indication that the people there will continue to fight even if, if Russia appears to take control of that country. That's according to Rothenberg. Jamie.